Welcome everybody here to our next uh, webinar at uh, JFT Bank. We talk today about uh, JFT Invest uh, Genuine Experience for Traders. Yeah, my name, Stefan Friedrichowski, as always, if we talk about uh, JF, JFD Invest in the English version. Uh, you may know that we have a German webinar for the same topic as well. That is normally on Friday afternoon and um, done by Christian Kemmerer. But anyhow, a warm welcome in the name of JFD as well. Today, yeah, we have the 21st of November, 2019, three o'clock in the afternoon, at least uh, German time. I hope you all are doing well and you may enjoy the next couple of minutes when we talk about JFD Invest. But what is JFD Invest about? JFD Invest is a quite cool trading platform in order to follow uh, pre-selected uh, strategies. So it's a little bit of a copy or social trading. It's a little bit of being your own portfolio manager because you have the choice which strategies you like to follow with which amount of money and so therefore you really act as a portfolio manager and everything else after you have done the kind of selection process then is done by JFD directly so you don't need expert advisors you don't need a computer which is always connected to the internet and up and running nothing is needed for that just access to the internet once you do the selection process and then you are done hey that's quite cool and uh, we talk about that and you will learn all the steps being necessary to be part of uh, JFD West. Overall, I will introduce more about JFD West. We talk about the highlights of uh, last week. So we have good results uh, for some specific strategies and those you which who have followed uh, those strategies. So the best one of last week um, has been Butterfly. So we will talk about Butterfly a little bit more in detail. And finally, we talk about my own uh, JFD Invest account because I follow a couple of strategies and therefore you can see what you might achieve with JFD Invest. But before we start really, you know the procedure i have always to show up the risk disclaimer during any webinar and uh, yeah we talk about trading we talk about investing but finally when it comes to any decision by your own of course it's on your own responsibility so that's quite self-explaining i hope and uh, but it has to be mentioned in any webinar but now Let's start with the highlights of uh, last week. The highlights, um, yeah, I mentioned already the best performer has been Butterfly, earning 1.2% um, profit just in one week. And uh, you will see more about which instruments are being traded and how the characteristic of the strategy is running. You see already the, the overall growth of that strategy, which is quite impressive, I think, um, just for a couple of months. So it's um, not already one complete year, but you can see that the earnings are in the range of 20 or 30 percent. The other two good strategies of last week have been BIP generator with 0.7 and Volcano with 0.4 percent growth within one week. Hey, that's cool as well because we are talking just about one week. But anyhow, you may like to learn more about JFD Invest. So let me start um, really at the homepage of uh, JFD Bank because those are the same steps you might do if you want to follow uh, any strategies at JFD Invest. So the first step is just going for the bottom investing and then we have JFD Invest. So that's quite easy. And then you are almost with in JFD Invest. But let's first scroll a little bit down because that you 
get a feeling of what we are really talking about here. So you see here within that table, the top five performing strategies since inception. Um, so therefore we have a different ranking here, but you will find butterfly as well here with overall return of 23%. Um, and you see that we are talking about double digit gross numbers. Um, yeah headed by Hyperion with uh, more than 70%. And that is, uh, I think, close to two years now. Um, but those are a few first statistics on those uh, strategies. And you can see some more details. We have to talk about equity balance deviation, uh, which is related to drawdown and that's one important aspect when we talk about trading at all. It's not only talking about growth, it's talking about drawdowns as well. You know, there's always a risk involved with any trading strategy. Um, so we have to, to figure out what really equity balance deviation means. You see the last month's result and you see the year to date result. Um, so quite impressive numbers, I hope. And uh, those are strategies being pre-selected by an expert team at JFD Bank. And uh, only if they hit some certain criteria, then they go live here. Live means uh, anyhow that all those strategies are being traded by professional traders on um, live trading accounts. So that's good to know that there's real money involved um, even for the strategy providers. So you see double digit growth numbers, but we will learn more details about those strategies because the important aspect for you is to, to have some criteria for your selection process. There's no single criterion I would mention, uh, which is overall good it's it has to do with your own preferences thinking about drawdowns thinking about potential profits so therefore those preferences should guide you through your selection process and i will do some steps of those um even within the webinar so that you will learn at least how i do that kind of process. But now I think it's time that you know more how to become part of JFD Invest. Overall, <clears throat> there are four steps needed. And the first one is that you sign up for a JFD Invest profile. That is simply done by this green button here, uh, signing up and there's no money involved with that process. It's just a registration process uh, with your email address and a given password. So the other good thing is if you have a profile, then you will get more details about those trading strategies. So that is the first step. And then the next step is to open a JFD Invest account, if you like. And that account, even if you are already a customer of uh, JFD and you have a trading account, you cannot use that trading account because you need a special one. As special means that your trading account um, with JFD Invest is a so-called professional trading account, meaning that you get a higher leverage, same conditions as the strategies from those professional traders. So that's a good thing. And the other thing you might not like, but um, it's given, uh, you cannot trade by your own in terms like, hey, I open a trade euro, US dollar long and close that trade. No, you can only follow those strategies with um, some risk allocation values, how much money you allocate for a given strategy. That's what you can do with your JFD Invest account. Finally, you connect your profile with your JFD Invest account, and then you can start following any trading strategies. What you can do always is you can use the guest access in order to learn more about those trading strategies. And that's the one I will go here first so that you can see exactly uh, what are the strategies, what kind of key figures we present. And please have in mind, we are 
as transparent as possible uh, because you want we want to give you all the details you need in order to to have everything you need for your um, review process and now you see already there are 16 strategies there's a second page here um, but they are uh, originally always ordered in uh, with return and you see wow well, Hyperion is heading with uh, more than 80 percent now um, the different number we have seen on the web page is uh, the, the difference uh, stems from the fact that uh, that table is only updated uh, at midnight. So now we have the, the live numbers as we speak. And again, you, you see inception date of such a strategy. In general, the longer uh, the better. So. As always, if you can see more history of a strategy, uh, that's always good. But even those which do not have that long history uh, might do a quite good job as well, as we will see with Angelius. But now the review process starts. What you can learn with those numbers and what you can learn more if you click on any strategy and let me start with uh, the top performer at all hyperion in order to give you more insight into the strategy and into all the information we present here at j15 west and we start <clears throat> with a growth graph here and you can see that this kind of strategy um, it has its ups and downs so there are drawdowns and those drawdowns might even have values of 50 percent that is one quite important information i think if it comes to your selection process but overall uh, it goes north with, um, and it's yeah quite uh, profitable uh, if we look to the overall return which is exceeding 80%. Okay, that's one information. But as you see, we have um, that kind of equity balance deviation. That's a quite important number we have to take into account into our review process as well. Think about trading. It, normally, if you have a trading account and you, there's no trade open, then the two numbers, equity and balance, equal each other. At the moment you open a trade, then there are differences. Let's think the trade goes into the minus, so unfortunately wrong, the wrong trade direction for the given underlying. Then the equity is uh, below the balance because balance is always only closed trades and equity is including open trades, the so-called floating profits or floating losses. So that means we have a number of equity balance deviation of minus 40 percent it means think about an account with 10,000 euros then there might have been a moment uh, with 4,000 euro floating losses but floating it does not mean that finally the trades go into the minus but we have to take that into um, account that we know that we have those kind of situations so you can even get more details if you press um, the bottom equity balance deviation because then you can see that key figure versus time and that's one of the characteristics of the strategy hyperion that it is always floating losses more or less in the range of minus 10 minus 15 percent okay we have to know that because we want to to have the fit between our preferences and those traded strategies and if you think a drawdown of minus 10 percent is, is too much okay then maybe uh, you look for a different strategy but it's good that you have all those kind of informations um we have Additionally, here, for example, the monthly return table, and ideally that table would be just green, nothing else. And you will see we have strategies which um, have that kind of um, totally green. Uh, and we come to butterfly, which is right now um, with November number in 
minus. But anyhow, uh, the November is uh, still ongoing, so that might change. One additional aspect I want to show you is if we press the button equity, because then you can see the two lines, the two green lines, equity and balance. Okay, we learned already about the deviation, but you see, or you realize, for example, whoops, what's that step south here? Um, is it um, trading result? No, answer is no, because we haven't seen that step uh, within the growth graph. That means at that time, there was simply a withdrawal from that trader on his own account. And when I say a withdrawal, it's just on his own account. So it has nothing to do with you. If you follow that strategy, of course, uh, that is uh, something totally separate. But it's good to know if you see steps here, even steps north, uh, that might be a deposit, that we compare those graphs with the overall growth graph and then we definitely know there has been a deposit or a withdrawal because we have we don't see that step within the growth graph. If you scroll down, you get more information, more statistics in this case here, um, number of trades being executed, more than 2,000, which is good because that means there's a real statistic behind. So that's good to know. And you can even learn about what kind of instruments are being traded. And in this case, that strategy is trading more or less only ducks and Dow Jones, a few other trades and a few other symbols, but the majority of our trades are uh, index trades and those two indices. It's an additional information for you because maybe there are instruments you like or you don't like, you don't want to trade. All those informations are available um, directly here. Later, when I log in, then I can see even all closed uh, orders, but uh, that is you can do only if you have a profile. Since I use the guest access, therefore uh, that information is um, hidden as we speak. That's one strategy, but let's think about we are doing our review process. So we learned already, okay, Hyperion has high returns, but has a higher risk as well which is quite typical when it comes to trading. Let's, let me jump to Butterfly because that has been the top performer of last week and therefore we should have a close look to that as well. And you see, wow, oh, quite steady growth. Okay, there are some drawdowns, but not that heavy. Um, and you see that we have now a one year history with that account. And as I mentioned already, the November number is still minus, but that might change. Let's do here the same then for the other strategy. Let's have a view on the equity balance deviation versus time. And you see that the characteristic of that strategy is totally different. Okay, we have had um, close to minus 10% in June this year, but overall the average is more or less like a minus 1%. So we don't have that many open trades, which might be in minus. So that's good to know. It's a little bit more stable, so to say, that strategy. But on the other hand, it doesn't have the same returns like Hyperion. And speaking about those two key figures, you see that it is quite important to match your preferences, your thinking about drawdowns, your thinking about returns. And in this case, um, yeah, it's less risky, but with a little bit less return. But anyhow, 23% within one year is quite Good. Let's have a view on traded instruments here as well. So in this case, that is a Forex strategy trading uh, six different symbols, but the majority of trades are Euro, US dollar, British pound, US dollar, and uh, US dollar, Japanese yen, then followed by New Zealand dollar, US dollar. Okay. So it's a Forex strategy. Um, good to know. Number of trades, well, 2,400. Uh, 94. Uh, so quite good statistics behind once again. And as you might know, uh, that is one uh, criterion uh, to enter here, JFD West being a strategy 
provider. Let me press the details as well, because I don't want to hide two additional quite important numbers uh, when it comes to your trading decisions. One is minimum investment. So with any strategy, there's always a minimum investment sum you have to allocate if you like that strategy then in this case it would be 3k uh, so you would need minimum 3k 3000 euros in order to follow that strategy and the other number i don't want to hide as well is there's a performance fee involved if you follow such a strategy which is uh 25 but only on profits uh so only if the strategy um, earns money then uh, you would be charged with such a performance fee of 25%, which I think is fair enough. And even more fair because it's based on high watermark principles. That means um, only, and that is done on the month's end base, only if the strategy reaches new highs on a month's end base on your followed strategy, then that performance fee um, would be charged so that's quite fair so if it's just oscillating up and down okay then you might have to pay one uh, only one time uh, such a fee but next time only if you reach new highs with your followed strategy okay i think that's quite fair other things you see here, how many people are following, how many investors are following the strategy, and how much money is involved in, with um, uh, those who follow that strategy. Quite impressive. And I just to complete my review process a little bit here, um, I want to show one additional strategy. And in this case, it should be Angelius, which is a quite new one. Um, from July uh, this year. So, because that strategy has a quite impressive um, growth with mm, really low drawdowns, just green, so no months until now uh, with any um, a minus result, which is really good. And if you look for equity balance deviation, we have a similar characteristic like um, a butterfly um, so overall it's not that heavy um, by far not that heavy as hyperion um, a little bit other than um, butterfly but yeah as you can see quite impressive so angelius might be a good choice as well if it fits to your personal preferences. And in this case, you can even follow that strategy um, already with a minimum investment sum of just 1,000 euros. And then all the trades of that strategy uh, would be copied into your account. And that's exactly what JFD Invest is about, to follow strategies and then um, have the same trades in your account as well. Let me log in to my personal JFD Invest account. So I have a profile, I have an account, and I follow a couple of strategies. And uh, you will see if you are um, um, from time to time within those webinars that I have changed my allocation. Um, unfortunately, it takes some time. Now we get the results, very good. Uh, so I have changed the allocation um, of my account. And uh, let me first show you uh, my overall results, which I achieved since the very beginning of JFD and West. And that's what I have done. Since a little bit more than one year, I have a gross return of close to 30%, um, which I think is a good number. And you see, okay, there have been steps down as well, because um, we will, in a minute, we talk about risk management. And in this case, my risk management uh, has been activated because what you can do is, if you follow a strategy, you can say, okay, if that strategy is losing a certain amount of money, then you are automatically stopped out, out of that strategy. Hey, that's cool. That's like a stop loss on a trading level. Now it's a stop loss on a strategy level. But let me start 
uh, with my current allocation so that you see what kind of changes I have done. And um, so I have stopped um, a few strategies and I entered in Butterfly and, and Jalius as we discussed already during this webinar as well, followed by PowerFX and Volcano. And how easy it is to, to do that kind of pr um, actions here, like stopping and following a new strategy. Let me at least show you how you do that. If you have similar situation, like those are my active allocations, and you want to stop a given strategy, then it's simply an action, stop allocation. Then you are done. So that's, uh, the process and it means practically that all open trades of that followed strategy are closed and no new trade would be opened if that strategy is entering a new trade. That's stopping and now let's do the same how to follow um, a, a strategy and for example if I would like to follow the strategy Forex Gun it's simply just pressing the button follow that's the first thing we have to do. And now the question is, how much money do we want to allocate for that strategy? As you see, your job is the job of a portfolio manager. So you select strategies and then you allocate a certain amount of money to a given strategy. Um, as always, if I do the webinar, uh, my internet is a little bit slow, but now we get here to the point. So the first thing is um, we have to decide how much money do we want to allocate and in this case the minimum amount is 3400 and it would fit into my available balance so but you can even get uh, put more money into a given strategy and the next step as I mentioned is risk management. Let me show you and uh, what you can do with that process after accepting. Then you have a next slider here, and that is the stop loss level on a strategy level. Meaning, for example, in this situation, we would invest 3,400 euros, and we have a risk management of 50%. It would mean whenever my followed strategy um, has losses of 1,700 euros, everything would be stopped. So trades are closed and no new trade would be opened. So it's your choice where to put the slider. Um, let me discuss it a little bit. We have uh, reviewed Hyperion, for example, and we saw that that strategy has um, quite often um, floating losses which exceed 10%. So if you put that uh, slider to the 10% level, I think you would be stopped out quite uh, fast. But anyhow, it's good to know and you can do that process and you could, can put the slider wherever you want, um, that you can manage your risk by following a given strategy. That's good to know and you may use that instrument the risk management instrument as well. And next thing would be just pressing follow and then we are in that strategy as well. And any new trade within that strategy would be directly copied into my personal JFD Invest account. So that's the way how you do the selection process, how you do the risk management and how you um, do the money allocation. But of course, it's always your question, um, how much money you might invest into a given strategy. Of course, you cannot invest more than you have um, and it should fit additionally to all those minimum investment sums for a given strategy. Let me go back to my current um, uh, allocation. You, you see that I I have reduced my risk because I left some money unallocated um, in this case. Uh, but let's see how much money we can earn with that um, kind of allocation and uh, that kind of risk management. So back to the overall table, find your strategy. It's your process doing that selection process and um, doing the decisions. The other good thing is 
you can do that steps like follow a strategy, stopping a strategy, wherever you are, you just need access to the internet and then you can do your job as a portfolio manager. So even if you are on vacation, it's no problem to do those steps uh, wherever you are. Okay, you need internet, but nothing else. And you can even do it on your mobile. As I mentioned at the very beginning, you don't need any extra computer, uh, which is up and running all the time. Everything is done directly at JFD uh, Bank. And that's good that you don't need any extra technique uh, for being part of JFD Invest. And you might achieve similar results like I do, or hopefully even better. And um, so having a gross return close to 30% and a little bit more than one year, I think it's still a good number. Even when I have had those drawdowns, I'm a I'm by far not that risk of fiend, um, anymore as in the very beginning. That's for now. If you have any further questions, please do not hesitate to drop me a line to s.friedrichowski at jfdbank.com or you just write an email to support at jfdbank.com. That's for now. I hope you are a little bit more interested in JFD and West and um, Maybe you want to be part of JFD Invest as well. I will review all the strategies um, every two weeks and you will see any changes in my allocation as well. That's for now. Enjoy the day and have a good time. Bye-bye.